<laughs> oh, it's already wet, now it's pouring. So I might as well just blast through these waves. I'm soaked through the waves. And it's cold rain, too. Shit happens. Holy cow! Good morning. Um, we're here at Lake Norman and um, it's about 6.30 right now. Just pulled up. Uh, boat launch is right there. Don't know a lot about this lake, um, but it's definitely summertime fishing and the fish are probably going to be um, deep which is always a problem because I don't have uh, topo maps of the lake so I don't know the structure of the lake um, so that complicates things um, and they also will likely be on docks and any shade that I can find in the, in the sh shallower water uh, probably adjacent to deep water so those are the things I need to figure out I basically uh, have camping here for two days um, and I hope that that wasn't a mistake um, because if the fishing is really tough, the second day may be kind of a wasted day. But uh, so hopefully we'll get into them today, figure out a pattern, and uh, be able to um, continue tomorrow. So with that in mind, I'm going to get on, uh, get ready so I can get on the water. Hopefully, we'll be back on soon with some fish catching. All right, see you soon, bye-bye. Okay, well I haven't even left the launch ramp yet, but there's a tree right there, so I'm just gonna pull my papar near that tree. See if I can get a fish on before I even leave the launch. That'd be pretty cool. I haven't even started my trolling motor yet. Fish on. Alright. Keep it on, man. Keep it on. Don't know how it's hooked. Looks like it's hooked good. Okay, it's a decent fish. Definitely a keeper fish. Uh, definitely a keeper fish. Alright. that fish out of that tree over there threw a um, chatterbait in there nice looking fish this is about the prettiest fish I've seen in a long time um, not because it's huge or anything but it's a nice fish it's probably about two pounds it's healthy healthy looking fish it took me a while to get the camera on because um, I didn't feel like I had good control of it. I think my drag was a little too loose. I didn't know if I had a good hook set. Felt like it was gonna jump. So I, I'm focusing on the fish rather than, you know, get the camera going, which is smart because I've lost fish that way before. Uh, this is a nice fish. Uh, I'm gonna get things ready. I'm gonna put it on the donkey leash. In case you don't know what donkey leash is, this donkey is a big fish. So, but basically it's a stringer to 
hold your fish while you're doing other things. So let's put it in the water. I'm gonna get my stuff together and then I'll be back with you all. All right, we're back. So the other thing I wanted to say is that this is the first bite I've had at all today. Um, it's been pretty dang slow. I haven't even had a hit or anything. Okay, so this is at 1.78, but it was at 1.80. So that's, that's good. Let's get a release and let's get back in there. There's a lot of, uh, of these trees over here and part of what I'm what I want to say is that these trees are adjacent to deeper water they're actually in deeper water um, so that's one of the factors here that as soon as I pulled up here I thought this is a better looking spot and that's why that's a nice fish real healthy looking fish beautiful fish great color uh, I think this is a spotted bath bass um, but let, let, let's get it released. Okay. Been out of the water for a little while, so I'm going to revive it. Uh, spent a lot of energy jumping around. Well, there she goes. Um, nice fish. I'm gonna go back to that tree and uh, see what I can do. Uh, and I'll throw that chatterbait in there and uh, see if I can pull some more fish out of here. It'd be really nice to be able to do that. And uh, let's get going. Fish on. All right. Still got some fight in it. Okay, this one's a keeper. Get in my hand. I think it's still a keeper. It's gonna be close. All right, I gotta get the hook out of the mouth. Let's get the hook out. All right, let's see what this fish weighs. Looks bigger than the last one. The last one was 90.4. So this one, hopefully, will be a keeper. Come on. I think it's a keeper. All right, let's, yeah, 1.34. I almost passed this dock, but then I ended up fishing this dock because it had that little platform. I don't know, you, you, you can probably see at the bottom of the stairs, there's a, like a piece of plywood under the water. 
Now that's perfect shade for a bass, and that's what they want right now. The water temperature is 88 degrees, so they want shade. So that's why I cast over here, and it produced a fish. So I'm going to try to see if I can produce another one. Let's do that right now. Okay, watch this cast. I want to go under that step, but I think there's a board there, so I would get myself in trouble. So I'm just going to go beside it. Oh, I just got hung up. Oh, got a fish. Oh, shoot. Oh, that felt like a better fish. I don't know if my line just got nicked when it got hung up there, or if it was nicked after that last fish and I didn't check it. That was definitely a better fish. Fish on. Oh, nice. Okay. I almost left this spot and then I saw some cover down there. So I turned around and came back and uh, cast a Texas rig worm out there. And came up with a fish. Okay, let's. That's a keeper fish. Oh shoot, I thought I lost it for a second. My, okay, let's get it in. All right, it's gonna be close. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, it's not even a pound, I don't think. I think it's small when I get it in my hand. Okay, we're gonna get some weights on this thing sure it's not a pound unfortunately uh, it doesn't look like a pound to me 0 0.90 0 0.92 0 0.92 okay let's get it on the other scale 0.94 so these scales are acting pretty, pretty accurate to each other today. But that is not a keeper fish. 0.97, we give it to us, but not 0.94, 0.92. It's not going to do it. Okay, but let's see if there's some more fish out there, bigger than this one. in them. Fighting. It's a lot of fighting. Doesn't want to give up. Get away from there. Get away from there. That's a nicer fish. Uh, get away. Gotta get 
way from the dock. He gets wrapped around that dock with eight pound test. Not gonna get him out. This is definitely a keeper fish. Nicer fish. All right. Catching my ducks. Okay. Yeah, definitely keep the fish. This one's similar to the first one I got. Real pretty, good color. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, we got some blood. I put this fish on the um, donkey leash because it, it was caught in the throat. The hook came out pretty good, so that's good. And, and there was a little bleeding uh, in the beginning, so, but it's real healthy. Uh, I just wanted to make sure. And this fish is really nice. This is a nice, you know, these, this is like the first fish I caught. The color in this fish, something about these, I think they're spotted bass, but they're really beautiful fish. Just so healthy looking, the color is so vibrant. So, with that said, let's get a weight. And I'm sure it's over a pound. Okay, it's 1.32. All right, so let's get a release. We haven't had a release in a while. Let me let go of my thumb. All right, there he goes. <laughs> Pause for a long time. Okay, so that's three keeper fish. We need to keep it going. Let's go find another dock with some fish on. This one didn't have any, and this looked like a good dock, but it's pretty shallow. But so was that last one. So this was a tough day. I caught three keepers, probably three that were short. I had two that got off. I would think that both of them were probably keepers. They both felt like really good uh, fish. So uh, I'll end with that, and uh, we'll see you in the morning. Unless I decide to check in after I get rained on. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Well, I just felt the first drop. And this looks like it's coming in heavy. And I'm going right towards it. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to get cooled off. All right. Well, now we got wind. Complicates things a bit. Oh. 
seven o'clock I see some serious clouds coming in so and I'm pretty I'm across the lake so I'm pretty you know I got a distance to get back to the launch uh, and it looks like I'm not gonna beat the rain um, and it started raining first it started getting windy and I was getting soaked just from the wind uh, just from the waves you know coming over the, the bow and so I was already soaked but it was warm then it started raining and it started pouring and it wasn't very warm. So, but it got real bad. It rained hard and long and it, and it was foggy. I couldn't see. Uh, but the first mistake I made was I went the wrong way and I got uh, totally lost. I couldn't see anything and it was getting late. Um, and it, I mean, I was blinded. The rain was hitting me, and the fog, I couldn't see. But I finally was able to see the shoreline, because I wasn't even able to see the shoreline. But I was able to see the shoreline, and I saw a dock, and I thought, okay, I'm gonna go up to the dock, I'm gonna see if I notice anything, because I still don't know if I'm lost. Um, and I get right up to the dock, and there's a guy in his boat. And I'm like shocked, you know, what's the odds of this guy being there? So I'm gonna ask him, you know, where's the launch? So I did, and he ended up taking me uh, to the, um, the, after the rain stopped, which was probably about 20 minutes later. Um, and it was, this was going on for probably 40 minutes before that, at least. And, um, but it, it's, the, the rain stopped. And then he towed me back to my my launch, and I was way off. By the time we got there, it was almost dark. I mean, it was pretty dark. Um, but 15 minute, more minutes, it would have been pitch black. There's no lights at the launch. I never would have found it. Um, so, speak about a godsend. This guy towed me all the way back. You know, it took a while because I couldn't believe how far I was away when he was told me. And um, and I offered him some money. He says, oh, no, you know. So it was weird because I thanked him a lot. But when he left, I realized, what was the chance of that guy just being there? The one dock that I go up to, you know, I can't see anything. And there's a guy there, and he's just waiting out the, the storms. What the reason he was there? So that was just amazing. I mean, absolutely amazing. And I don't know what would have happened if I'd have run into him, because I had no idea where I was going. I never would have found it. I never would have found it. Um, I don't know what I would have done. So unbelievable, you know, the way that worked out. Just amazing. 
I made it back like at 8.30. <laughs> so, um, crazy. So, that's what happened yesterday. I, you know, definitely was blessed with that experience. And, um, pretty amazing. So, that's long enough. I'll end with that and get back into the fishing. Thanks for being here. Bye-bye.